What's up guys, this is Dead Aim Headshot here on Mad Money Banks' channel to show you how to hook your PS4 controller up to your PC to use it for gaming and more. Alright, first thing first is you're going to open this up in your browser, uh, it should be linked in the description, I've got it right here. Just... And after that, you should have this page come up and you'll go down to the bottom, we'll go over this other stuff here in a minute. Um, go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to download the DS4 1.2 zip, so it's the very last one it should be. And according to the creator's forum post, you're going to need Microsoft Net 4.0, Visual C 2010-2012 runtime, the latest DirectX runtime, and the latest Microsoft Xbox 360 controller drivers, and if you're using Bluetooth, your Bluetooth drivers and the dongle plugged in. Some of the stuff you may already have installed from other games, but I would go ahead and try to install it just in case. Uh, DirectX runtime, the Visual C and the Net 4.0 is all directly from the Microsoft website. I'll have them be linked in the description for you. You're going to want to have WinRAR or some other zip file program and unzip everything in the DS4 folder, or zip file into a folder of its own. I'm just going to do here since I already have it installed into a new folder. And just remember where you have this app because you'll need this to uh, first set it up and then also every time you run your or on your PC to go to this to start it up. Uh, basically what this program does is tricks the computer into thinking it's a Xbox 360 controller uh, which does work with most games. Alright, once you're in your new folder, you're going to open the Virtual Bus Driver folder. Uh, go to the SCP Driver EXE and run that. That's going to install the drivers that you need to have your controller be recognized as like a Xbox controller on your computer. Um, just hit install down here. It'll ask for permission, most likely with uh, administrator rights or something. Just go ahead and give it to it, let it go install. Um, it's really quick. Once you see the uninstall or install succeeded, uh, you can go ahead click exit and you're going to back up to your new folder uh, again up above the uh, virtual bus driver and click the SCP server exe and this is what's going to show you that your controller is found etc. This is also where you're going to be able to change your settings, um, change the colors of your light on your controller and all that once you have it connected. Then you're just going to plug your uh, micro USB table into your computer and into your controller. And once you do that and you have the software open, you should see something kind of like. And if you're just going to play wired, that's all you have to do. Now, if you're going to play with your Bluetooth wirelessly, then there's a few more steps you have to do. We're going to go over those now. Alright, and I'm on Windows 8, so I'm just going to go into my Metro menu and type in Bluetooth and go to my Bluetooth settings real quick. You're going to press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time for a few seconds. And the LED will flash quick like a strobe light. So just hold them down for a few seconds. And there we go. And it'll flash like that. That means it's in pairing mode. So go to your Bluetooth settings. And uh, you should be able to find this control panel regardless of what Windows you're on. Just go there, go to your Bluetooth settings if you have a Bluetooth device. Uh, it, it might show up like a wireless controller or unknown device. Uh, once you have... Uh, everything like I have set up, you just hit pair uh, on the game controller and then type in for the code 0000. zero, zero, zero. So four zeros will be the passcode for your Bluetooth on your controller, as long as you don't change it or haven't changed it. And after that, it'll pretty much work once you know it loads in and recognizes it. And it should be working right now, actually, on here. Yep. I'm moving the mouse with the PS4 touchpad right now, actually. And this comes in handy, especially in Steam, when you're, uh, you start up a game and sometimes they're not 100% controller compatible. This actually bypasses that and it lets you click on stuff you would have to use a mouse keyboard for. And that's pretty much it. If you're having any trouble with the install, make sure you run with uh, administrator. Like right click and click run as administrator on the SCP server and the install drivers just in case. Other than that, there are a few control... Uh, hotkeys on the controller you can use to do certain things, and I'll show you those here in just a second. You hold down the share button and the PlayStation button to pair Bluetooth. You hold down the PlayStation button and the options button to turn the controller off. 
hold down the touchpad and both of the back triggers to enable the touchpad as a mouse and hold down the left trigger and the touchpad to disable the touchpad as a mouse. Thank you.